Hello. So, um, I wanted to talk about something today that could be used for all kids, whether they're on the spectrum or not, um, whatever age group. This is just an important thing for all kids to know. Um, so what I'm going to be talking about today is pretend play. So this may sound pretty basic and you're like, well, my kid already knows how to pretend to play, but like how well are you constantly turning around and telling your kids like stop getting into that stop doing that don't timmy stop it timmy don't do that timmy like come on so that as parents like drives us all crazy so in order like kids get into stuff because they're bored and they don't know how to entertain themselves and the best way to help that is to help our kids learn how to entertain themselves and the best way for them to be entertained is not through their technolo technology like devices, not through getting into stuff, not through fighting with their siblings, through playing, okay? That's what's gonna help mom, dad, kids, their future, everything. Like with when they are playing, they're learning. When they're playing, they're not getting into stuff and us as parents can get things done and it's just glorious for everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about pretend play today. I'm gonna give a lot of examples. Um, towards the end, I'm going to try to get Riker over here so I can demonstrate some of these pretend play things that me and him are doing um, based off of his ABA goals one and then based off my imagination too and um based off what he's interested in that is super important number three what is he interested in my kid likes superheroes so we take superheroes and we pretend play and fight with those um so it's just really like figuring out like you don't have to have an imagination to use pretend play you can use everyday life situations and make that pretend play. Going to the restaurant, that's an everyday thing before quarantine <laughs> that a lot of us would do. Going to the restaurant is very common. That is something that you can pretend play do with your with your like children. Um, cooking food and then eating it pretend play, feeding a baby, pretend play, um, using the superheroes, pretend play. Um, we have so much, even with, you know, like um, Riker has this fake snow that he really likes to play with. We can use our cars and not to do some pretend play. Um, you can do some pretend play uh, with riding on a school bus. Um, you can do some pretend play with blocks. Um, I have a client and we like to set up racetracks with blocks. That's uh, another great way to do some pretend play. Um, like I said, you don't have to use your imagination with this if you're the one who's listening and doing that. But I also recommend like following the child's lead on what they're trying to pretend to do and what their interests are and maybe just turning it into something positive like Riker likes to take his superheroes and bang them into the walls so what I'm trying to teach him is just to make them fly around and go wee and then maybe they can crash into each other because banging on the walls is not like it's not working for our family personally for so many reasons but if the superheroes want to just like crash into each other, totally fine. Um, so these are just like ways that um, we're incorporating pretend play, but also helping behaviors and helping the fact that kids are bored, they're stuck at home in quarantine. We think as parents like we're missing work, we're missing the store, we're just missing day to day life. Well, so are these kids. They're stuck, they're home, they've got so much energy. So the best way to keep them busy is to keep them playing. Um, so like I said, uh, we have a lot of like food things you can do pretend play. 
um, cars. If you can have some specific interest and you're like, I really don't know what to do with that. Like, how do I make this a pretend play situation? Please, please message me. Like, this brain stays going all the time. I have so many ideas and I would love to share them. So, please, 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 please message me. That is what I'm here for. I'm happy to help. I am happy to spread my ideas. I'm full of them, okay? Um, I try to keep these videos short because I could literally go on forever with all the ideas I have and just keep it going and keep it going. So, whatever your kid's personally interested in, personally likes, whatever you feel like you're interested in, that you want your kid to kind of like explore as well and see if they have some interest and you don't know how to introduce it, please feel free to message me. Um, that's what I'm here for. So, um... And like I said, I'm gonna try to get Riker over here to do a little play with me. Um, but I'm not going to push it on him right now during this video because um, we are still doing sessions for ABA and stuff via Zoom and things. So he hit, has already had his like daily dose of ABA. Um, but I'm gonna try to get him over here. This is kind of like his free time, so we'll see how it goes. Reiki! Reiki Nuggets! Come here! Come here! Come here! I'll give you a cookie. Yes, come here, my little braggy butt. Okay, sit down! Sit down! Say hello! Hi, guys! Sit. And then what we're going to do, look, we're going to feed Elmo. Did you? Feed Elmo. Feed Elmo. Um, nom, 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 nom. Good job, Shiggy Bug. So that's something we can do. Oh, look, we got some food. Let's stir it up. Let's put this in. Put it in. Put it, oh, we don't want to cook duck. Okay. <gasps> could go like this. Oh, we don't want to cook a shoe. <laughs> okay. And then go mix, 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 mix. Let me see. Let me see. Come here. Come here. Look. Look. Mix, 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 mix. Yum, 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 yum. You eat. Look. Here. Mix, 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 mix. Um, yum, 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 you. Um, yum, yum, yum. So we're, we can do some like pretend cooking, mixing them up, eating. This is something he's usually pretty interested in, but um, he usually like specifically likes to do this with his older cousin. Um, like this is their little play thing. Yes, come here. Yes, the incredible dad. That's the next thing I was gonna, mm. let's show them. Look. Okay, I'm gonna move the rest of the toys. <gasps> Look! Whee! Ah! Boom! Ah! Boom! Ah! Boom! 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 So those are just some like pretend play things that we do. During pretend play, um, this is important for not only just like helping your kids, um, for helping yourself so they don't get into stuff when it's bored, but you can build so many other skills. Like I said, this doesn't have to be um, like imaginative stuff. Like this can be day to day stuff that you're like pretending to do, um, which is going to help them. You are always building language and everything that you practice, and language is so.